should be recording. All right, cool. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Get Heavy uh, Vlogcast podcast, whatever this has become. What's going on, guys? Uh, got Craig, as always. And with us on this episode, we have Dave Ron from uh, Drummer of Lagwagon, uh, Me First in the Gimme Gimmies, uh, an all around amazing dude, even though he's a Giants fan. Take it easy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> how are you guys i'd actually like because i'm not a baseball psycho how are you guys dealing with this right now is this just one thing on top of everything else where the baseball season's canceled oh that was well <laughs> our season <laughs> being canceled was probably doing us a favor <laughs> you yeah, guys could yeah, yeah. maybe get, get a little more fucking hit lead time <laughs> I, do miss, I do miss baseball i do miss baseball i bet man uh, of all the things for, you know i was looking forward to the opening weekend uh of my team and Dave's team playing each other. So For sure, fun, man. It's always a fun, friendly rivalry with me and Dave. Yeah, yeah. That's great. So, um, Dave, are you? Uh, where are you currently located? Are you in, uh, I'm in L.A. Uh, or? Monterey, Carmel, Salinas, sort of. Oh, right. Okay. I'm almost right on the border of all of those. Wow. Okay, yeah. so how have you guys felt the effect? Are you guys completely shut down like we are? Uh, yeah, I mean, we are – I'm I'm on lockdown since I got home from Australia. I mean, I've been I've gone out to shop and that's it. Uh, my wife is actually a healthcare provider, so she's actually a frontline warrior. Wow. So she actually goes and uh, and sees you know sees folks. They haven't seen uh, I don't think actually in her clinic they haven't seen anyone. They don't even have the right uh, you know outfits and masks and whatnot. So they really can't see these people. So, oh, they're not equipped for it in that hospital. Not. No, I mean, there's no ventilators in any of that. There's got to be a closer. Is there a hospital that's within distance? Oh, yeah, there's there's a few of them. So, yeah. But I don't think it's been that bad in this particular area. But I know right. over the hills, San Jose, it's had, you know, uh, more of an issue. Right, right. So, um, so I saw you the end of February. Yep. And we were talking about – I remember we were – I was like – Things were just kind of starting to get crazy. Hmm. I was supposed to be going on tour. You were just about to leave on tour. Right. And I remember, I think, I want to say like Japan or something like that was starting to get crazy. And I was like, I was like, are you going to Japan? And you were like, you know, who knows about that? You know, it was like, it was right <laughs> when before everyone really started talking. So kind of maybe take us through the month of Lagwagon. Because like I was saying, I, I believe you guys were the last band to, on on earth to be on tour yeah it seemed like it well yeah japan obviously japan kind of got canned pretty early because that was somewhat the epicenter after china you know that boat and then so japan got shut down pretty quick and but we did go off to australia um and meanwhile while everything was sort of unfolding um really rapidly actually while we were there so uh, you guys went to Australia. You're currently trying to do show. Can you give us a time frame? Like, when did you guys leave to Australia? We, well, I got to Australia on March 12th. Oh, Jesus. Um, and so everything was <laughs> just starting to hit. Starting to hit, yeah. Right. Totally. I mean, and so we managed to crank out uh, three of the four shows, Australian shows. Our wow. last one got canned basically because they finally implemented the uh, – you know, no crowd bigger than a hundred thing. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, got to that point. Prior to that, though, our New Zealand, we were supposed to go to New Zealand, and that got clipped because they implemented the 14-day automatic quarantine on coming into the country. So that did away with New Zealand. Oh, so if you were to show up, you'd be quarantined for 14 yeah, days which, before uh, you could even do anything. Yeah. And then, yeah. you know, yeah, so that's... And then at that point, there's probably nothing going on anyway, right? That's a no-starter right there. We're not even going to go there, you know? And so... Uh, and then right after that, Australia implemented it, luckily. We were already there, but we were uh, we were trying to just finish up that, and then we were going to fly home. Um and then that basically that last show on the day of the show we had flown in and they did the whole no crowds bigger than 100 and and so that show got shut down which we were anticipating anyways and we were really kind of on the fence about everything um but you know being there it's like we do the show um we figured well the government literally shut our show down you know and yeah. which is good it's it, i am i'm totally down with 
you know, the shelter thing and everything. I mean, but we were there. So, you know, what do you do? You know, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. right. We're trying yeah. to do what we're supposed to do. And we can't really back out of things because then we're like on the hook for the whole financial, you know, like it's all on us. If we go, Oh, well, we kind of have to wait till they bring it up. Yeah. And because as a lot of these contracts now are, you don't get any of your money up front or any of that, uh, unless it's actually like a state of emergency cancellation or something. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, I've seen a lot of that stuff with a, a lot of the big comedians they yeah. had to wait to cancel their days until yeah. it was ordained an emergency state. And then they got their deposits and all this shit. Yeah. Because otherwise the venues and promoters are trying to keep everything, dude. It's well, like, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, it's like a small, it's like a, a small loophole that, you know, I mean, you, you know, and we, you know, I mean, typically we don't like to cancel shows ever. Of course, you know, yeah. our, the band's thing is not to cancel. But in this case, although we, this is a pretty unprecedented situation, you know, you, you don't really realize. And then you're seeing all this and things are sort of happening around us. And so then we're just like trying to get home. Then we're like, all right, you know, we're hearing about all the airlines and the international travel starting to get shut down. And, and it just the, the, the mayhem, just the mania and the mayhem just being built up. Uh, we're just like, yeah, let's just get the hell out of here, you know, but while, right. we, while we fucking can. Yeah. And how was the process getting out? Was it tough? <laughs> well, it, 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 the, the, the more literally, well, we had to change all our flights because we were supposed to come home from Japan. So all of our flights eventually had been changed, right? That was prior to leaving. So then while we're there, New Zealand does its thing. So then we're like, oh, shit. So then we've got to change our flights to fly out of Australia, not New Zealand. And then mm -hmm. the morning I get a I get a call or a text at 4.30 or 4 in the morning. We're supposed to have a lobby call like at 6.30 saying hey you got it you know from our manager Anna it's like hey we need to talk our, our our virgin Australian flight that was taking us to Sydney uh got canceled so then we had no way to get to our united you know our connection oh. to go home so then they are our our, our uh, travel guy and our on our um Jimmy and uh, our manager got together and they scrambled and man they kicked ass they got us flights on Qantas you know, different routing, but got us home. Wow. And, uh, and, you know, so that was the, literally the morning we were leaving. So we were like, shit, you know, wow. this is getting gnarly. Yeah, thank and, God uh, for managers and tour managers at that point, you know. In a time where that was, you know, it was, it was tough, man, because so many other people were scrambling to do the same thing. And, uh, and then, you know, we didn't even know how that was actually going to go once we did get to the airport, because, it was just so chaotic. It was just, you know, everyone's just kind of freaking and scrambling. So we were just like, all right, let's see how this goes. And and, and what day was well, that you guys flew out? Like you're talking about the 16th, 17th, something like that? or I mean, uh, uh, Something like that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you're like three, four days later from when you came in, essentially, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but, yeah, wild, dude. Like that. Yeah, it was nuts, man. It was nuts. What was, uh, what was the... Uh... What was the status of like the people of Australia with this whole thing? What was like, what was society thinking about it over there? Were people like kind of not taking it seriously? Were people kind of like, uh, oh, it's a, ho you know, it, it was kind of, it was, it seemed from what we could see about, you know, from the news, it, it really seemed the same. People were hoarding toilet paper. <laughs> really? <laughs> over there no, too? God, anyways. <laughs> Yeah. yeah it's a respiratory <laughs> disease it's not it's like gonna piss out your ass <laughs> yeah what are <laughs> right. you gonna do right. everyone they, we were all pretty mystified on that one though <laughs> i think that was universal <laughs> yeah universal toilet paper global, it's a global shortage of toilet paper. <laughs> it's the fucking toilet paper cabal putting it all together dude that's what it is yeah it was nuts goddamn sharma charmin <laughs> and bounty got together and got us dude. Uh, right right yeah it's yeah. a conspiracy for sure absolutely uh, man yeah there are uh, conspiracies man, in the uh, world but that's a shitty one yeah, literally yeah. and figuratively yeah but that, uh, uh, anyway yeah it was it's pretty much the same i mean like i said things were happening pretty rapidly and people i don't think i mean and me included didn't really see the gravity the thought it was like oh it's just a flu why is everyone freaking you know it's just right a, you know it, it is a flu but it, it's it's really really contagious i mean obviously look how rapidly it's flown around right. the globe you know right, right, right. italy and spain and 
I mean, Jesus Christ, and and soon to be, you know, New York's struggling and trying to get what they need. And there's they're saying that they're saying that LA is the next New York. Let's let's hope that. not. Let's say let's hope all that speculation is is much Wrong. further yeah. than what it really. Did uh, yeah. did 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 any uh, band or crew members get sick on tour where everyone was kind of like. Oh shit! You got, <laughs> yeah, you, dude. I mean, you cough in a store right now, and people want to throw bricks at you. You know what I mean? I, mean, it's, I it's cough. A, I cough in my bedroom, and I think I have coronavirus. <laughs> dude, if if one of my bandmates coughed in the van with me, I'd fucking throw him out. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh-uh, not you, buddy. I don't think so. It did cause a little bit of paranoia. I mean, yeah. a, few, a few people that yeah. were like a little bit hypersensitive to it. You know, I was. Yeah. I was kind of like, well, yeah. It may be, maybe like an a dumbass, but I was like, well, if I get this, you know, we're we're cruising in flying, you know, giant flying incubators, so right, it, the chances are pretty damn good we're gonna get. And, and phenomenally, none of us uh, are, are sick. We've all been checking in, you know, and it's it's Chris Flippin's birthday today, in fact. So I saw that happy right, birthday, man. Flip. Yeah, the yeah. big the big baby girl. The big baby, big baby girl, big baby, baby girl. girl. Yeah. <laughs> Seven feet of him. Yeah, oh, man. Gentle <laughs> yeah. giant. He's yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. the nicest giant I've ever met. You know what I mean? Yeah, the, I've met a couple uh, nice giants before, but holy the, Moses, dude. He's a great the tour guy, I was supposed to go on, um, it was supposed to start, I think, uh, in like two days from right now. And one of the band members called me up one day and was like, like before it was canceled, and he was like, hey, my friend from CDC said, if we get on that bus, there is a 100% chance we all get coronavirus, Ugh. you know, yeah. and it was like, it was like, that was like the first news that hit me where I was like, Ew. it was real. You know what yeah. I mean? Like I knew, I knew that like the, the hoopla and everything going around is like, okay, people are allowed to freak out. People are allowed yeah. to become chaotic, you know, but once like someone told me that I was like, oh wow. Like, I don't know about, I don't know if I want to go outside now. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I want those kind of odds. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah. Fifty fifty is bad sick. enough, you know. Like, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, I'm good on that. Yeah, I'm good on that. Well, it's um, an it's an unprecedented time. I mean, no one has ever dealt with this. You know what I mean? They compare it to the Spanish flu in the early 1900s. But first of all, none of us were around. Yeah, I don't. And know uh, you know, it, it it just it seems like, you know they put out a new list of symptoms to watch out for yesterday. And I know a big portion of it is like media trying to scare the shit out of you. So you stay home, but it was like, so the common cold is the Corona, which, you know, it, it, I understand it's insanely contagious and that's the real problem. You know what I mean? Is that you can be a, they're saying you can be a host. They were testing people that were positive for over 30 days. Damn. You know what I mean? With, with asymptomatic uh, symptoms, like barely yeah. any symptoms. So they're carriers for 20, 30 days. At the, you know that's what I mean? So it's like, dangerous. that's insanely contagious, you know? And I, I still have family members and people that aren't taking it serious and think it's the deep state and the yeah. fucking, <laughs> like, oh, yeah. good Lord. I'm, I don't know what deep state is helping, but everyone's fucked here. Man. The economy is crawled to nothing. I don't know how that's helping yeah. Yeah. deep so, state uh, members, but okay please let me so like, with uh me. with uh with your wife working in healthcare, does she have to do any preventative measures when she gets home because like i know people that are like leaving like completely getting like changing clothes in the garage right stuff like that there's something i mean obviously there hasn't been any cases yet so i guess it's not really that much of a yeah worry in the area it's more preventative maybe but is she kind of like is she how does she feel about everything I mean, she, she, it's she's not doing anything like that. I mean, they haven't had anyone that they know of. But like we say, right. you know, it, you know, I could still be, I could be carrying the fucking thing. Yeah, I mean, you, know, you, you could have brought it back to everybody, dude. You and that's what's zero. crazy. But no, she just does her thing, and primarily she does psych stuff. So, right. but she does help in the um, internal medicine end of things when need be. So, but she has, you know, she has. We actually have masks ourselves because I had some from years ago that I had bought on sale at Orchard Supply Hardware. So I just happen to have the right mask for the for the, the gig, so. for me. Nice, yeah. I have I have leftover masks from uh, the uh, from all the wildfires. Oh yeah, we had wildfires a couple of years ago, so I got all the masks from there. Jesus. Yeah, what I mean, mom? we're we're just like when we go to the store. Basically, I've been the one going to the store for the last couple of weeks. And uh, I'll, I wear gloves like an idiot, 
and I'll wear a face mask if I think anyone looks sketchy, dude. But yeah. I'll just I'll come in and ditch the gloves as soon as I get out. And that's the one thing I keep seeing people doing is they keep reusing their gloves. <laughs> and you're like, dude, if you're I mean, if you're touching something, it's it's yeah, there. You know, you gotta get rid of the gloves. You know, I work in the construction industry, so I have access to tons of stuff like that, you know. Yeah. But um, you know, I, I it's just like, man, you know, you just I have three young children, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you just you get so paranoid about you know, as soon as my baby gets a runny nose, you know, I'm talking to my wife on yeah. running to the hospital, you know, it's like, like, Oh my God, you know, like you just can't, I don't know how much longer you can live like that, you know? Yeah. And it's crazy because you think the levels, the levels of, uh, uh, that you would have to really operate under as far as uh, sanitary, you know, I mean, like almost like oper operating room style. You know, right. you think, oh, I'm going to have a mask. Well, I mean, if you've been in contact, it's on you. It's on your yeah. clothes. It's on, you know, it's, and it's if you everything. remove things now, I mean, it's just crazy. Like, you, you would just go down a rabbit hole. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. It you makes know, you, you very aware you, of how much you do this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm over here biting my nails. I'm like, no, nah, stop it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, we're doing what we can. I think that social distancing thing, just not being around motherfuckers is the good part. Yeah. Luckily, I don't have a problem with that. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah exactly. I'm inherently a, a homebody at nowadays. You know, I mean, right? anyone yeah. in the music industry is kind of like that as it is. You know what I mean? How are you dealing with the time off? I mean, as as artists, as musicians, me personally, I've been playing music for, you know, my whole life. And uh, yeah. I fucking go crazy if I don't have some sort of creative outlet. How are you dealing with, with all that? Uh, fuck, I've been playing my kit actually more than I, I've been actually practicing more than I would typically. It's been yeah, right. killer. Because we rehearse here. So I have everything in my, uh, in, a, in a room here for rehearsal. Uh, oh, okay. So I was thinking about firing up my GoPro and just shooting some stuff just like a million other people. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, of just me making some jam or something and i was talking to dudes about doing some kind of like remote jam put together you oh, know you could totally do it on something like this you know what I mean? yeah on the zoom app or whatever so, that would be so, cool that would be really cool see you yeah. guys all playing in different spots yeah different shit doesn't even match up yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it'd be like every other fucking band practice like, anyone's ever one, had. One, two, three, four, and then just everyone <laughs> goes into it. That There's would be nothing, awesome, right? There's nothing not even better. Yeah, you know? it's, uh, it's always it's always the fucking bass player is doing a goddamn walk while you're trying to explain a different part of a song. You oh, know what I mean? Little, Playing some other bass riff that he learned today. You're like, oh, I'm gonna, oh, little, buddy. The little joke, and it would not little only joke, be that, joke. it would be loud as fuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no volume control with those guys, dude. It's insane. Uh, Every time I'm like, look, dude, I don't need to hear any more tool riffs out of you. You know what I mean? No yeah. more. We're yeah. good. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's wild. I mean, I, I just find that a lot of us are, it's cool that people are really like getting besides all the chaos, you know, people are really getting the time to be with themselves. You know what I mean? And yeah, it's interesting to, especially like all these fucking celebrities, it's like, oh man, we're finding out you guys are kind of fucking dorks. Yeah, yeah. You guys aren't interesting or cool or funny at all. You guys, yeah. I mean, you yeah. just filmed yourself making a cup of coffee, dude. Like, yeah, no, it's yeah. really funny to find out who, like, is an actual interesting human and who is not, you know? Uh, right. how, are, how are you guys as a band preparing for the future? Because I know Lagwagon is, I mean, supposed to be pretty busy coming up, yeah. I mean, as a bunch of people are, you know? Like, what are you guys uh, internally kind of talking about, discussing, or anything you want to share that's like you know what you think our, our tours are just being uh pushed closer into the fall um right you know we had a may tour uh with less than jake and I, I i think i might be wrong but i think it got put into july somewhere although that's all pending on how all this shit actually does pan out yeah. Yeah. but and everything's just gotten pushed i think so it's gonna be kind of crazy considering every single fucking band and tour is going to be buying for the same amount of property at the end of the year. It's yeah. crazy. It's going to be fucking insane. It's crazy. And the thing is that no one even really knows when it's all going to reopen. I mean, really? No. I mean, you we've got to see how it, how the, how we get over the crest of this thing and then start to get on the downside of it. And then you could start to actually know how we're going to, how every life is going to, you know, 
start back up again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, I, you know, I wonder too. It's like, okay, so say we do get the – like say it is does go to May, you know what I mean? And yeah. finally they lift the restrictions. You start – like at what point is it – or do you feel safe – like I asked myself this even, like at mm-hmm. what point do you feel safe going to a fucking concert with 3,000 people or – I mean, yeah, like, you know, yeah, it, yeah. just because the government says, like, oh, yeah, you're good now, like, they, there's no way they've had a history of completely screwing everyone before, you know? <laughs> so, right, yeah. you know, it's like, like, I, I always, I keep asking myself, it's like, yeah, everyone wants to, we're all making plans for the summer, you know, yeah. and this thing, and it's like, well, okay, so it is the summer, it's a couple weeks past the deadline, like, God, do I really feel comfortable being in a giant venue with people who are still coughing and still doing the thing you know like yeah. i don't even know what to do man i'm like totally yeah. at a loss yeah giant petri dish concert it's yeah you know like even a month after it's like you don't know how this if people are right. really going to be carriers that long you just you start to wonder yeah. like how, how long is this going to push everything you know yeah there's there's just a lot of unanswerable questions yeah. i think i mean yeah. really it's like we're just going to have to see what, what, what the fuck may looks like, what things look like in the world, how, you know, what other things start to move forward um, until we can really make that call. And that's the, and once we get closer, you're going to actually get a better you know idea of what's really doable. I think yeah. So it's, yeah, yeah. it's tough. I mean, it's, everything is sort of by, you know, played it by ear at this point. Right. Yeah, totally. It's a, it's a definitely an interesting time. It's an interesting time. So, uh, so now back to killing time at home. What uh, what what a movie? Have you seen any movies, dude? Like, last well, last weekend, I was on the front line of watching fucking, uh, fucking Tiger King, bro. Oh, dude, <laughs> I saw that shit. It is good. <laughs> right out of the gate, told everybody yeah. about that. It was dude. the dude. fucking gnarliest show. That's a good one, man. Holy, every episode was gnarlier <laughs> than the next. It's like. We were looking at each other going, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like you couldn't write that if you wanted to, man. You oh know what I mean? God. It is so good, man. It's and that, those guys literally look like so many people I grew up with in the desert, too. But just like <laughs> from the south, you're like, I'm like, oh, my God. Like, this is scaring me. I mean, if they just would have crossed that line into sucking dicks, it would have been fucking – it would have been mean, Joe Exotic all over the place. It's dude. a like, fine line, baby. You know, I, I knew so many guys line. like hey, that. that were, like, it's a fine dude, line right there. Literally a game of inches. Big yeah. game. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's I was saying, between if I, you and a foreskin, buddy. Yeah. yeah. I know. It's crazy, I know. Man. man. That's the most wonder, wild show. I I mean, that might I don't get into those a lot, but that one, yeah. I was like, you got to be shitting me right now with this. That that pretty much kicked off our whole yeah. fucking home quarantine. But it's last weekend, or I think she came home, and last Saturday we watched it. We we saw it come up on Netflix. And we're like, yeah, we gotta watch this. Oh yeah. yeah. We forgot. Yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah. I mean, the, dude, have you seen the music videos? Oh, yeah. I, really, do. I mean, really, the, the level of amazing just kept going in different <laughs> it's, directions. It's like, I don't even know how, I mean, I mean, he's a Grammy Award winning artist as far as I'm concerned. I mean, when, <laughs> when he started singing at the songs, funeral, man. when he started singing yeah. at the funeral, oh, I yeah. was just like, <laughs> this is, this, yeah. we've, we've jumped the shark here. I don't even know yeah. what to think anymore. It does, it does sort of tell you where we're at with the pres, the current president and that show sort of, at, it, it, it's amazing <laughs> to us because, you know, things are ridiculous still, but there are that, but to, to me, it almost like, yeah, I mean, that's kind of where we're living in actually, sadly enough. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, 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 right. It's not really that weird. It's like fucking Donald Trump's our fucking president. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Joe Exotic could have easily been a senator from fucking Oklahoma. Dude, did you see this pitch? It was so Oh my good. god. So I've good. Done, I've done drugs. I've had sex. <laughs> I've had dirty sex. I'm queer as a three dollar bill. Queer as a three dollar bill. <laughs> There's a gun everywhere. I'm not bed. I'm never gonna wear a suit. I'm not gonna change my clothes. <laughs> God, I almost vote for him. I mean, shit, that level of honesty is is, is amazing. It's, it's the same yeah. reason Donald Trump got elected. You know, yeah, I mean, mean, that dude is who he is. You know, I mean, yeah. might, might have to get uh, we we might have to try to get Stefan on here. He lives in Oklahoma. Oh so shit! Ask, oh yeah. You know, I'll be like, excuse me, did you vote for Joe Exotic? Because you better have. 
yeah. if he's an American, he did. <laughs> right? You know? <laughs> yeah, for uh, sure. Uh, yeah, so, uh, all right. Well, Tiger King is – is absolutely one of the tops for me, dude. Tiger King is definitely good. Yeah. Definitely. I that I, I just started watching uh what just came Ozarks just came out the third season. Yeah. Oh man, that's a have you seen that one, John? I haven't caught that one now. Oh, have you seen any of them? No. Ozark. Oh, dude, that is I mean, one of the that, gnarliest shows sports, I've ever seen. Now that sports do not exist. Yeah. I've been watching so many television shows and movies like I never did before. I was always just like I'll just put on whatever sports on. It's yeah. crazy. No, yeah. all, all sports across the board are done. Oh, uh, my God. I mean, I'm, watching, I'm watching replays of, like, Wimbledon 2012. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just, like, going, like, man. I'm like, well, I don't remember who won. So, I get, it's kind of like watching it uh, for the right, first time right. all over again. You know? Yeah. We just finished watching uh, – my wife's a big drag queen fan. So, we watched this uh, docu documentary type thing on Trixie Mattel uh it's called moving parts it's really good trixie's amazing i mean uh, oh really she's on she's one of the rupaul all-stars you know you watch rupaul drag race yeah Yeah. and uh, rupaul the queen of queens and uh i mean it's amazing they're all so fucking amazing and the talent level is is my wife went to one of those uh lunches in la like a couple months ago with the with the girls that you know that you did do a brunch and like a show yeah, I uh, guess. And she, she yeah. And, and dude, she was like, I watched this dude like six, three, 200 fucking pounds, jump in the air, do the splits and land on the ground. Oh. <laughs> She's like, it, the amount of uh, athleticism and showmanship was incredible. Yeah. No, <laughs> they, like, wow, I, yeah. it's, it's, it is incredible. That's like a, a death drop or something they call whatever that. they call it. That's, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, my wife goes every year down south. This year she was uh, she goes down there for the drag con and all that stuff. So, um, That's yeah, wild. yeah, but so there's a documentary out about the is it transgender stuff or is it is it about a specific? It's oh, about, it's, no, it's about Trixie. Trixie Mattel oh, is, about a, a is a drag one, okay. queen, um, okay. and it's it's basically about her and her. But it's a lot of you know a lot of background. It's really good if you're into anything like that or not. Even um, it's. Trixie's super talented, actually, an amazing musician and a comedian, and her drag is a fucking off the charts, quite unique. Word, wild, word. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, that's those, that sounds like good recommendations. Um, well, I think we could pretty much wrap this up. Do you have anything that you want to tell the people? You want to give it a note on the way out? You want to tell them anything about lag wagon? Tell them anything that's coming on in the future? Anything. Just say, stay safe. Wash your hands. Wash your dirty fucking mitts. Go tell Chris Flippin you love him on our Instagram and our Facebook. And, uh, you know, fucking don't freak out. Or totally freak the fuck out. <laughs> all can die. I don't know. One, one, of, the, one of those is going to actually fucking happen eventually. Right. Right, right, but, uh, right. Yeah, just fucking see how it goes. Check it out. Things are going to resume at some point, uh, you know. Yeah. And, so you uh, do have some sort of hope left. That's good. Not yeah, all crushed. There's, there's a fucking smidge. The smidge. Yeah. There's a smidge of hope. Uh, thanks, smidge guys, of hope. for having cool, me. Cool, man. Hey, fun. where can we find you on social media or, or uh, Lagwagon? Uh, Mecky, Beck, Mecky Brecky Rules on Instagram and then my name for Facebook and Lagwagon1989 on Instagram and Lagwagon on Facebook. and Yeah. I think it's we cool. have a fucking dot com fucking – I think we actually have a web page. I don't know. Yeah. 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 yeah, we'll we'll definitely post uh, all your handles and all that stuff on the page when we post this. Yeah. But uh, cool, man. Thank you, Dave, so much for coming. Thank in. you, Dave. Thanks, guys. Pleasure really to meet you, man. It. All right, we're gonna go ahead and hit the recording on this. We're